desert with no hope for a change, yeah. I was longing to be someone else, to have other emotions, to get rid of despair. Be some storm, a lot of rain. You're soaking. Yeah, well, I gotta do my laundry anyways. How's Juilliard skirt? But no, Jose. Haven't been in over a month. You know, my oldest daughter, she would like to study music. Maybe she talk to you about school sometime. Music, Jose, not school. School's just not where my mind's at, man. Friende. <clears throat> Can you, uh, can you hold this for like 30 seconds? I mean, I'll be right back with my laundry. I go up to 10, then I pick you up on the way down. Okay? Right. Yeah, because uh... Show tonight? Yeah, yeah, CBGB's at midnight. I'm just hitting the big leagues. Well, you wanna come? <laughs> Me? Oh, oh, I'll be long in bed by then. Maybe another time. Can I help you with this? Oh, I got it, I got it. Thanks. Thanks. Nothing, I didn't say anything. Thought like you said something. Nope. 
need help? No, thanks. I'm okay. I just saw you at the deli. You did? Shades. Evian. I'm sure you've got better things to do than watching your laundry spinning around. I can really do that for you. Yeah, actually, I, I never do my laundry down here. I don't even know how everything works. Yeah, it's real easy. Right. You need quarters. Shitload of them. I don't have any quarters. What do you mean you don't have quarters? I thought all women were good with laundry. <laughs> and all guys are good with machines, right? <laughs> I'm used to technical equipment, amps and sound equipment. I'm a drummer in a band. You ever hear of Cramped Fear? Yeah, I've seen your posters pasted every street pole, stop sign, and turnstile in the city. It's called high impact and low cost advertising. Yeah, well, some people might call it defacing public property, but why quibble over semantics? I'm Moriak Greenberg. Oh, my name's Julian. Julian Fincher. You live on 10. How do you know? Top floor. Do I look like someone who likes who it I... on top? <laughs> who likes a good view, I meant. I'm only kidding. <laughs> do you mind if I leave you for a minute? Yeah, as I said, I'll watch your stuff, no problem. I'll be back in a bit. You about done in here? Someone left the light on here all night again last night. Well, I didn't leave the light on. You gotta remember to turn them off. It's what the sign says. Think anybody even reads this sign? I told you. I didn't leave the fucking light on. Mr. Silverman. He says, Mark, what the hell do you think I made of? I drive by here late last night and I see all the lights on in the basement. What do you think, money grows on trees? Who the hell pays your salary around here? Con Ed? Because <laughs> if Con Ed pays your salary, where the hell then I could understand maybe why you'd leave the lights on all night. And I say, no, Mr. Silverman. Con Edison, don't pay my salary. Well, he says, that's right. Con Ed, don't pay your salary. I pay your salary. Now, what are we going to do about these lights? I say, well, Mr. Silverman, how about if I make a sign? Big sign. He says, that's a good idea. You make a sign. You do whatever the fuck you gotta do, but you just remember who pays your salary around here, that's all. Somebody has gotta take care of this building. The tenant sure as hell don't. Falls on the super. Yeah, the super. He's like the last line of defense. If all else fails, just call the super. You understand what I'm talking about? That's not a seat. Does that look like a seat to you? Get off there, will you? See what I mean? Lights. Buy us some crackers and drinks. Hey, we're just gracias. <laughs> Is the beer for me? Sure. 
You don't like beer? Oh, actually, I'm more into the Evian girl, as you already noticed. But this is what's left in my fridge. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Here's the money I owe you. Oh, this this is a twenty. I'm only throwing a buck fifty. Well, I don't have change. You can pay me back later. Thanks. So, are you one of them? One of who? A beat, like Kerouac, an angry young poet. Or like an angry young musician, I'd say. Well, I'm into more informative writing these days. I pretty much stopped reading those kind of books altogether. What do you mean by those kind of books? Philosophy, in general, the theoretical, make you feel happy, quick fixes. After you've read a dozen of them, you no longer know what's right or wrong. Mm. No, no, wait a minute. You can't even mention Kerouac in the same context. He's definitely different. He's a state of mind. I mean, this is me. Everything. I'm gonna be on a plane to San Francisco. In exactly 12 hours. How fast do these fossils work? I don't know. Like any others, I guess. You guess. God, oh, it'll be good to get away from this heat. Like I said, I can do this for you. I don't mind the heat. But I sweat in here behind my drums. Yeah, well, you know, there's expensive lingerie in there. Stuff that you can't just throw into the washing machine. Whatever. Is anyone else down here? Just the super, why? Because I distinctly remember putting these things away before I went upstairs. Well, you didn't. Oh, I certainly did. So? You can't even trust your own neighbors. What are you, some kind of pervert? I mean, how often are you assisting in doing other women's laundry down here, hmm? Do you keep women's underwear under your bed? Huh? I, I don't understand you. Why, are my lips moving too fast for you? You're, you're crazy. Excuse me, is anybody going to use the dryer right now? My stuff's going to be done soon. This will only take a couple of minutes. My dog never sleeps without it. Do you mind? No. Thank you. It was just on the news. Major flood warnings tonight, the whole tri-state area. They're never wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, how difficult can it be to predict a storm when it's been pissing rain all day long? I have to catch my flight tomorrow. I haven't seen this much rain in months. Not that we can't use it. New York metropolitan area, raining heavy at times, winds gusting to 80 miles per hour. They're going to close the airport for sure. Tomorrow, partly sunny, hazy, hot, and humid. Temps around 95 to 100, with moderate winds from the southeast. You see, 
You'll catch your flight, all right. Whew. It sure is hot in here. If you're thirsty, there's another Coke for you. Oh, no, thank you. I just opened a bottle of Chardonnay. It's waiting for me upstairs. With a uh, soda and a twist of lime. When you're done here, would you like to come to my apartment and have a glass of wine? Oh, thank you. I'd love to, but I haven't uh, finished packing yet. Place, have a glass of wine, wait for the storm to be over and the machines to do their work. Yeah, you're right. This is crazy. Watching laundry spin around a machine all night. Fine. There's a PBS show that starts at nine that I don't want to miss. Are you coming with us, young man? No, thanks. Gotta do some reading. Young man, uh, excuse us. We might need your help over here. It's stuck. We can't open it. Well, are you ready for a long night? What do you mean? We're locked in. Well, I can see that, but what... Shh. The young man's got it under control. It can't be. Yes, it can. This is a deadbolt lock. It only opens from the outside, not the inside. You need a key. My flight, you don't understand. Everything's okay. Someone will let us out soon, and tomorrow you're going to be on your flight. My fiancé will be waiting for me at the airport. There are worse things happening, I guess. Well, sooner or later, someone's going to find us, right? I mean, the super or uh, Jose... Some other tenant crazy enough to come down here? You're right. The superintendent. He always makes his rounds. Oh, he was here half an hour ago. I don't think he'll be coming back. It's a pretty fucked up guy anyways. You know, I think he hates all the tenants. Maybe he did this on purpose. You know, he comes in here bitching about the lights this morning, and then now he installs doors that don't open from the inside. Fucking ass. He's right. I mean, what if there was a fire in here? Yeah. Imagine all that expensive lingerie cracker. Will you both be quiet, please, and use your intelligence to get us out of here? What about the window? Those are, say, one inch solid steel bars. Pretty tight security for a laundry room. But there must be a way out of here. You already said that. What's that? It's the A train. Nobody will hear you. We have to wait until somebody comes by. It's hard enough already. There's a cool breeze under the door. I think I'll reconsider your offer of the Coke. Don't spill it! 
It's the only can left. Well, pardon me, princess. Here, have some of my beer. Thank you, young man. I can drink that wash water if it comes to it. <laughs> Waiting for Godot. Got who? Godot, you know, the Beckett play. <laughs> I'm Nora Lippmann. Julian. Julian Fincher. So who are we waiting for? I don't know. Mr. Silverman? The Holy Ghost? Whoever. <laughs> I've lived here for a very long time, and I haven't had the pleasure to meet him. The Holy Ghost? <laughs> no. Mr. Silverman. Well, maybe he doesn't even exist. Maybe Mark's the owner, pretending to be the super. Yeah, like he would do such a thing. That's crazy enough. I don't want to discourage you, but, um, that's a Smith triple safety lock. They don't usually open with credit cards. At least I'm doing something. Yeah, all you're doing is running your credit. Since there's not much we can do, we might as well have some fun. Would you mind showing me your hands? What? Is palm reading right? No, no, nothing like that. Trust me. Both hands, please. Relax. It won't hurt. <laughs> All right, now what? Um, uh, I see, uh, clear and present danger, uh, I see, um, a dark basement, uh, I see two crazy women holding an innocent youth hostage, uh. You have very special hands, nice hands. I know. You work with both hands equally. You could say that. Not physical work, something artistic. Uh -huh. The tips of your fingers are shiny and smooth. You can see that frequently with musicians, pianists. Well, I... no, don't tell me. Your wrists are strong. I'd say... Percussion. Yes. Accurate. <laughs> Very good. I'm impressed. Classical music? Yeah, yeah. The Met Symphony Orchestra. No, 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 no. Contemporary stuff. Punk rock. I'm the drummer in a band. Could I, could I see one of your concerts? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You, um, you could come to one of our gigs. I mean, it's very chaotic and loud. I don't know if you'd appreciate that. You'd be embarrassed. I'm embarrassed? Why? Because everybody thinks that Grandma was going to a concert of her grandson. Oh, no, no, no. I, I think it'd be really cool. I'd like that. Yeah. Well, if you like music. Now, it's your turn to guess. Name that tune. Come on, it's easy. I don't know. Havana. Havana? <laughs> That's the name of the band. That's the name of the band. All right, how about this? This one you should know. It's from the adult contemporary section. Stones, hockey talk woman. Right, right, unfucking believable. Fifty points for the lady at the door. Wait, this is unfair. How could I know? Right, right, all right. I'll give you one last chance, and I'll even tell you the interpreter. This one's Stevie Wonder. It sounds familiar. I just 
call to say I love you. Right again! Another 50 points for the lady with a credit card. That's unfair. It was my turn to guess. You're right. You're right. No points for you. Either you're in or you're out. Either you join us or you don't. You don't happen to know any love songs from the 50s? The 60s? Oh, no. <laughs> of course I do. This is one of my all-time favorites from the 70s. Becoming a percussionist. <laughs> drummer, drummer. In fact, you remind me a lot of him. Yeah. What's he up to now? Oh. Ready, 